Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to the President of Egypt, Abdel Faha Al Sisi, expressing his sincere condolences on the victims of the fire that broke out in the Egyptian railway station. His Majesty prayed to Allah the Almighty to rest the souls of the victims in eternal peace and wished a speedy recovery to the injured. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Salman Al Khalifa, sent a cable of condolences to the President of Egypt, Abdel Faha Al Sisi expressing sincere condolences to the victims of the fire that broke out in the Egyptian railway station. His Royal Highness prayed to Allah the Almighty to rest the souls of the victims in eternal peace and wished a speedy recovery to the injured. His Royal Highness also sent a cable of condolences to the Egyptian Prime Minister, Dr Mustafa Malbouli. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, sent a cable of condolences to the President of Egypt, Abdel Fattah Al Sisi, expressing his sincere condolences on the victim of the fire that broke out in the Egyptian railway station and left dozens either killed or wounded. His Royal Highness prayed to Allah the Almighty to rest the souls of the victims in eternal peace and wished a speedy recovery to the injured. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, today received the Ambassador of Pakistan to Bahrain, Afzal Mahmoud, at Rifa Palace. During the meeting, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and the Ambassador reviewed Bahrain-Pakistani bilateral ties, as well as other areas of mutual interest. For his part, the Ambassador of Pakistan to Bahrain expressed gratitude and appreciation for the opportunity to meet with His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, today met with the newly elected Board of Directors of Bahrain Journalists Association, the BJA, at Rifa Palace. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince highlighted the importance of maintaining impartiality in journalism, as well as the principles of transparency and openness, which are the key drivers of the Kingdom's comprehensive development programme led by His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness affirmed the important role played by the journalists in promoting Bahrain's achievements and ensuring that citizens have access to objective news on issues of both domestic and international importance. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince congratulated the new Board of Directors under the chairmanship of Aldea Ahmed on their appointment, which attests the advancement of women's leadership roles in the public and private sectors. The President of BJA expressed gratitude for the opportunity to meet His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for its recognition of the role of the BJA. The meeting was also attended by the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa. In the presence of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and Chairman of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, Honorary President of Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the veterinary examination of the horses participating in the 120 kilometre His Majesty the King's Endurance Cup, which will be held tomorrow morning at Bahrain's International Endurance Village, sponsored by GFH Financial Group. His Highness was keen on checking the readiness of the riders and the stables participating in the race and was briefed on the preparations of the Royal Team. His Highness hailed the efforts exerted for preparing for the race and the efforts of the organising committee. The 120 km race will kick off tomorrow morning and the 120 km golf stables race will kick off on Friday, while the 160 km public race for His Majesty the King's Cup will be held on Saturday. In implementation of the directors of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to develop urgent solutions to increase the flow of traffic on the main road network in the Kingdom, the Minister of Works, Municipality Affairs and Urban Planning, Isam bin Abdullah Khalaf, announced that the implementation of the project of developing Road 47 in Sanad region is completed. The Minister noted that these projects come within the framework of achieving the objectives of Bahrain Economic Vision 2030 through the expansion of the road network in Bahrain. 
He added that the development of the road network included the expansion of Road 47 to two lanes in each direction. The Minister also stated that during the development of the street, the construction of a rainwater drainage network, the installation of pedestrian sidewalks and a road lighting network, the provision of traffic signs to ensure safety on the street and the establishment of safety barriers have also been completed. The Minister of Information, Ali bin Mohammed al Ramehi, met Saudi Arabia's Minister of Information, Turkey bin Abdullah al Sabana, on the sidelines of al Ramehi's participation in the media forum organised by Prince Mohammed bin Salman al Saud's charity foundation in the Saudi capital, Riyadh. During the meeting, al Ramehi affirmed that the Bahrain will continue to stand by Saudi Arabia's side in face of the media campaign against it and to support the procedures to maintain its stability under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques. King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defence of Saudi Arabia, Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. Ar Mehi noted that the media attempts to sabotage prestigious and leading role of Saudi Arabia in maintaining security and stability is condemned to failure. He noted that Saudi Arabia adopts balanced media policies that promote peace and reject extremism and terrorism. He also noted that the media campaign against Saudi Arabia comes from suspicious regional parties that have demonstrated the motives and tactics. They have taken radical extremism and media chaos as a basis for their work. It proves beyond any doubt that Saudi Arabia is on the right path to defend the re religion and preserve the capabilities and achievements of the Arab and Islamic nations. During the meeting, they discussed joint cooperation in the field of media as well as regional and international developments. The National Bureau for Revenue, the NBR, held two consecutive workshops primarily aimed at increasing the VAT awareness of professionals working in the retail, wholesale and manufacturing industries. The workshop attracted 168 representatives from over 100 companies and recapped general and technical VAT concepts, including VAT record keeping. Following the workshop, attendees visit the unique interactive demo centre that provides innovative learning experience to assist vendors in implementing VAT. The NBR will continue to organise workshops that provide an inclusive platform for all stakeholders from the public and private sectors to smoothly register companies with an annual supply of 500,000 Bahraini dinars to 5 million Bahraini dinars by June.